What do you think about us leaving? Yoga on this trip? No. Me, Ethan, Carney. One of a kind. I'm definitely gonna do yoga. Eli Anderson, aka Gana, a man that's made to move. You know when we stop working? When we make our first noise. What's this noise? Hey, Shem, what's going on? Shem Goltz, funny and always takes you by surprise. Hanukkah bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Hanukkah gelp. Me, Rabbi Jack Malor. Maybe one day, Rabbi Jacked Malor. 7 a.m. in New York, and it's crazy. How are we doing? This is our good fellow Moroccan, as I do. Shlomo, the quiet genius. We made it, the Hyatt Hotel in New Brunswick. Amazing. Day 2, January 1st, 2020, we're celebrating the completion of the seven-year cycle of Daily Talmud with 100,000 people at the MetLife Stadium. The day started with an optional prayer, lavish breakfast, and of course, the Steig session, which is a Talmud study together with 500 Olami delegates from over 30 different countries. I haven't even stepped outside and I'm freezing. We then set off to the MetLife Stadium. High volume, high volume, 100,000 Jews. It was a sight I have never seen before. <laughs> Oi, guys, this isn't a football game. So off we were to the brand new American Dream Mall. It has an insane amusement indoor park, a water park, ice skating rink, and of course, a snowboarding section. Overall, an amazing way to slide into 2020. Day three, of course, start your day the Jewish way, and off we were to bury the hatchet. Steig session at Shai Yashuv Yeshiva was a lie. For dinner, we were split up to host families, the kindest and sweetest people we have ever met. Finally, we went for a Thursday night Cholan and Kumsitz. Ten different families hosted literally a concert in their homes. And one of those homes surprised us with the famed Jewish singer Yaakov Shwaki. What a party! Shabbat weekend. Friday was Steig followed by a lot of sports. Oh, and I had a lot of fun getting my phone wet. A lot of fun getting my phone wet. And then getting ready for the most memorable Shabbat joined by hundreds of local families and successful businessmen. Looks amazing, food. The highlight, however, has got to be the Havdalah ceremony. Singing, learning at the greatest, biggest yeshiva in the world, and a concert by the famous Yehuda Green. You see, if you're doing Shabbat right, you come in as a single candle, you know how you leave? As a Havdalah candle. 
Notice the difference in the flame between one candle and a whole bunch of wicks lying together. And that's what we're here for. Done, Olami. You have pulled it off yet again. A once in a lifetime opportunity for Asian Air. And we can't wait for the next one. For now, we'll see you later.